So we are making black forest cupcakes today and we are going to use about 600 grams of baking flour, 200 grams of cocoa powder, we've got four large eggs. This is vanilla extract, I've got about two tablespoons. I've got two teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of baking soda. The equal amount of sugar is used, you can use white sugar, just plain white sugar here. 260 ml of oil here. We've got six teaspoon of lemon juice, 400 ml of buttermilk. <laughs> Adam is all excited about starting the cupcakes. Are you? Yes. There's Adam back with his apron. Can you count how many eggs we have, Adam? Yeah. Here you go. You can count using this. How many eggs do we have? Thank you very much. You're right, that is four eggs. We would just like to make some bit of a well. Okay, so let's start putting all our wet ingredients in again. So we're going to add some oil. That's Adam who has mixed, mixed cocoa powder in it. Then we've got some eggs that we can put in. And put your lemon. Taste the fourth one. Yeah. Can you please pour in the lemon? Right. Careful. Yep, go ahead. Very nice. What about the vanilla extract? Thank you. Can you please help me with the buttermilk? Oven, we'll start timing it. We'll put it at 170 and keep it on hand forced. It's just Halloween. Yes, it's just Halloween. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna line the tray with these um, cupcake bases. Adam would like to volunteer. Do you want to put all the cupcake base into the cupcake tray, Adam? Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much. And now we are going to fill these tray, this tray with some cupcake batter. We're just going to fill these to three foot. So this tray is filled and we are going to put it in the oven that is already preheated. Hi guys, so this is a second project of making some yummy jelly. We are going to make lemon flavored and lychee flavored jellies today. And it is going to be in these molds here. So we've got one very cute pumpkin mold. And can you show what mold do we have, Adam? Batman. Are you sure it's a Batman? Yeah. Good boy. And we might be adding some leftover jelly into this pumpkin tray and see how it works. So that's 400 ml of boiling water. Lemon flavored jelly here. And we're just gonna add that. Adam is going to help mommy pour it in. Can you pour it in? So we just planned on adding some yellow color to it. I've got some Queen's Rainbow food colors. So that's the yellow result that we are getting. So that's all put in. Adam is very, very excited about just licking the, them off. 
I think our cakes are almost done. Our cupcakes are almost done and we're just going to see on the side. Wow, they look beautiful. We're gonna take them out. Yes, and we're just gonna test them by putting a knife or a skewer in and seeing how it is. So we're just inserting a knife. So that's come out very clean and it's all done and cooked inside. So we can take this batch out. So now we've got all our cupcakes ready. So we are going to do some frosting. Today I'm going to do some cream cheese frosting. It's going to be more cheap cream and less cheese. We will be filling it with some cherries. I've got here, I've got some mixed berry topping. I'm gonna to mix these and we're gonna fill it in. We've got gelatin, we've got cream cheese. We've got dream whip that is going to be like a thick powdered whipped topping mix. We've got thickened cream that we will be beating on for about two to three minutes at very high speed so that the form soft peaks and we've got some salted butter you, you should use unsalted butter but because I don't have any unsalted butter I'm gonna use some of the salted butter so in this we've got about one teaspoon of gelatin and we have put in two tablespoon of water and we're just mixing it there's no warm water it's just normal tap water and we've got some about two tablespoon of water that is on the stove it is switched off so what I have done here is you just need to uh, make it hot enough that it does not boil so it has to be hot but it should not boil so and then we're just going to take that and we're just going to take that and Adam be careful I'm just going to add to that So here I've just added some thickened cream, about 500 ml, one whole packet of the Dream Whip and that is going to be this. Do you like it? Is it yummy? What's that? What's that? Are you trying to dive with my mind so you can eat all the cream? Yummy, mommy. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, so we can stop eating now. We've got more ingredients to add. To this, we will be adding one cup of butter, 200 grams of cream cheese. So now we're just going to mix and to this well, it's almost done and to this we are going to add the gelatin water that we prepared and a bit of food color. Keep that aside in the fridge for a while and then we'll do the filling with cherries and then top it up with the frosting. And we'll be using this as a filling into the, our cupcakes and our cupcakes are all ready and the frosting is put inside the piping bag and it's all ready as well. So we are basically just cutting them out in the rounds and I've just cut this one out and it just easily pops off and you can save these pieces because we'll have to fill, do the filling inside of the cherries so I've just finished making these holes in them they are now ready to start filling for the cherry pie if you have a cherry pie tin available in your country you can even use that and then once you just do that you just have to start filling them in so you just take two or even three if it pops in and I'm gonna put a bit of a sauce in it as well just have to top it up cover it up so that's what we want that's what we are looking for so we're gonna finish off the entire tray and I'm gonna come back and show you how it looks so that is how it looks after you finish covering it up with the tops it doesn't have to really really be perfect because you're gonna have the icing on top so it's gonna be okay I just forgot to mention that you're gonna have some chocolate shavings as well which is going to be on the top of the frosting once it is there so that's how it looks and I'm just gonna now top it with some uh, chocolate shavings and cherry and let's see what it looks at the end so that is the final product that we get and it looks pretty it tastes yum that was just from the leftovers that I made uh, into a cake we can take out one cut it open and see how it looks inside it is so moist you can see it's shining and gleaming it's really really moist there it is so it's beautiful, it's juicy, and kids will love it. So hope you guys like it. Uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.
Bon appetit! Are you enjoying? <laughs> you can't eat, can you? Your nose is too big. <laughs>